diamonds, I like stunning, I like shining, I like million dollar deals. Where's my pen? Bitch, I'm signing. I like those Balenciagas, the ones that look like socks. I like going to the Tula, I put rocks all in my watch. I like sexes from my exes when they want to. Hey fam, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Ritzy Ruthie on the Big Beat. It's been a minute and um, I hope that you've been enjoying yourself on my channel. Thank you very much for subscribing. If you are new here, you're so welcome. Thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for liking. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for everything. I know that I have concealer at the back of my hand. I just finished filming this look for you. It's I was, It was just a very quick get ready with me for work. Um, tutorial kind of stuff and um, this is just basically what I do when I'm going to work most times when I'm going to work I always stick with the uh, uh, smoky eyes because it's very easy to create it takes you less than 15 minutes to finish all the eye look put together so it's just something for one of those days when you really want to look chic you want to look glam but uh, you also don't have a lot of time on your hands so if you want to see how I created this look right here all you need to do is just go ahead and keep watching this video if you're not subscribed to my channel hit this subscribe button now it is absolutely free um, turn on the notification join my notification gang just click on that little bell below this video just so you get notified when next I put up a new video I love you very much and I'll be catching you in the next video love you very much for your support God bless you we're almost at 4,600 subscribers please tell your friends and their friends and their friends and their friends and their friends to subscribe to my channel I'll catch you bye hey bubbles all right so what I'm gonna be doing right now is I'm just going to wake in my la my brows using my spoolie brush and now I'm just using the karite um, brow gel it's in the shade brown ink basically took that in a um, angled brush in an angled brush and I'm just basically using that to fill in my brows just the way you've seen me do numerous times I'm basically drawing a line right on top of my natural brows and drawing another line on the bottom parts making sure to connect them on the outer corners of my brows filling in the areas where I don't have that much hair using hair like strokes is that simple anyway I went back with that same spoolie brush making sure that I blend all the products together and for concealing and highlighting I'm going to be using the Zaron liquid concealer in the shade deep which is what I'm using right now for the bottom part of my brows I just took that in a flat concealer brush and as much as I'm um, cleaning up my brows, I'm basically highlighting my brow bones as well. Anyway, for the top portion of my brows, I am using the Zaron Healthy Glow Foundation in the shade FZ40. Mm -hmm. And I just took that in the same flat concealer brush. And that's what I'm going to be using to make sure that I get the top portion of my brows all cleaned out, all straightened out, looking like a lady. Anyway, I did the other brows off camera and now what I'm just basically doing is highlighting my brow bone using this golden shoe, golden sugar two palette by Makeup Revolution. Oh my goodness, sometimes it can be so hard remembering all the names of these products, but yeah. As soon as I'm done with that, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to prepare my lid for shadow. And yes, you can see that I'm using something that looks orangey. Anyway, that is the LA Girl Concealer in the shade Orange. And basically, I use this orange concealer whenever I'm doing um, a look that, um, a smoky eyes look that has like orange colors, um, red colors, or just basically any color in that family, in that family scheme, okay? Anyway, what I did now is I went into my Hush Beauty 350 O palette and I took that um, light orange shade, which is going to serve as a transition shade. And I'm just steepling that um, in my transition area. As you can tell, whenever I put concealer on my lid, I don't set. So I just, first of all, used um, that um, shadow to set and then I blended out. All right, now I'm using a flat eyeshadow brush and I took that dark and deep orange shade um that is what is basically going to go all over my lid i love how beautiful this color is it is so pigmented it is so brown skin friendly and i love it 
anyway i'm getting right back into that first transition shade which is the light orange shade basically blending all the areas where those two shadows meet just make sure that there are no harsh lines and that's that about that i went off camera to do my liner it was just a simple liner and what i'm doing right now is using the zaron lengthening mascara to just make my sleepy tom lashes make sure that it is ready for um forces that i applied off camera now on my face i am applying the zaron healthy glow foundation in the shade fz14 i just used a stippling brush from barrier cosmetic to apply that all over my face now once that is done i'm looking all smooth and creamy and beautiful but i'm going to go over now to highlight my face basically the areas where you'd highlight on your face on a regular basis which is under your eyes the bridge of your nose your forehead and your chin and the product i'm using for that is the zaron liquid concealer in the shade deep and as soon as i'm done with that i just go over to my damp booty blender and i use that to just blend the concealer properly you know you will blend for your life sometimes your arms might be hurting but you'll continue blending my sister because you want to look flawless mm -hmm. all right so as soon as i'm done with the whole blendation of things i go off camera and i set using the sasha buttercup setting powder well i'm going to come back looking like casper the ghost but not to worry my sisters i'll brush off the excess setting powder Okay, so what I'm doing right now is basically just, um, hi, um, sorry, contouring my nose. I have a full video that I just put up a few days ago. I'm going to be linking it up here just so you see how I, you know, snatch my nose and make you guys believe like I have smaller nose when my nose is actually big. Mm -hmm. So now I'm just trying to remove the Casper the Ghost effect by using my powder from the Barrett Cosmetic Mariamo Powder Palette taking my shade which is the shade Kyo and I dressed up all the excess and I set the rest of my face now for contour I'm using the shade Coco from that same palette anyway I want to take off that excess powdery look um and I'm doing that using the Zaron Cosmetic Setting Spray and as soon as I'm done with that I decided to go do my lip for lips I'm going to be doing a nude lip so I'm going to start by lining and tracing the outline of my natural lip. Mm? And I'm using, oh yeah, I had an accident right there. Anyway, I'm using the Huda Beauty Lip Contour. I think it's in the shade Famous. Not too sure. If I find out, I'm going to put it in the description bar. Anyway, for the lip stain, I'm using this one by Zaron Cosmetic. And it is called Buttercup. It is such a creamy color. Beautiful if i say so myself anyway for the gloss i'm using this one by house of tara and it's in the shade nefertiti all the way go back in again to the eyes and what i'm doing right now is basically using the nyx cosmetic um liner liner pencil in the shade white to just um line <clears throat> excuse me to line my waterline and as soon as i'm done with that i went in with a small precise brush and I'm taking that same color that I have on my lid and I'm just putting it on my bottom lashes or under my bottom lashes. And I'm going to go back again with the Zaron Cosmetic Lengthening Mascara. And I'm just going to use that to just basically um, wake my bottom lashes up. And once I'm done with that, that is all for this look. If you like it, please give me a big fat thumbs up. I am the hunter.